It's the very first time that I've called any talk show. Oh. Um, but I've been moved to do so um, by the crisis that's facing our farming communities at the moment. Absolutely. Not only the farming communities, but the entire country. Um, I have never, I've, I loathe and despise Labour with a vengeance. I have never voted for them. I have never, I would, I would do nothing for them. I would do anything in my power to um, get them out of government and, and thoroughly destroy them. I don't mean um, to be rude, sir, but can I ask how old you are, first-time caller? Oh, 69. What do you make of what's going on in this country? This abject attack, it seems, on <laughs> pensioners, <laughs> on I, veterans, I on farmers, on almost anybody that I would call the bedrock of our society. Precisely as I said to your researcher when I made my initial telephone call, you have been sort of nibbling around the edges of what Labour is up to. You've pointed out their targets. But if you get it in your mind that Labour, and this started with Blair as well, and Starmer is merely continuing the motion, they absolutely loathe, hate and detest the United Kingdom. Why do you and think that is? Why do you think, you why do you think that, that is, Peter? Why do you think that is? Oh, <laughs> um, who was it? Jack Straw, mm. um, an old uh, Labour supporting trade unionist. He confessed some years before he died that they, well, anyway, one of them, they used to receive their, their instructions directly from the Kremlin as to how to ruin uh, industry in this country. Um, Labour has always hated this country. Um, and if you look how they destroyed the aristocracy in the 19th century, um, and they're now continuing the motion with public schools, um, which they, they, they hate, um, because they're envious of the people who go to them. Yeah, but hold on a second, hold on a second. There's the irony. I, I'm really vociferous as well on this one, and I'll tell you why. My parents scraped together by working around the clock and spent 60% of their income to send myself and my brother to private school. Their choice with their money that they'd earned. This VAT, this extra 20% on school fees, right, it's so badly thought out. One, it's based on the premise that apparently everybody who goes to private school is a millionaire. That's a load of old whatever, I nearly said the wrong word. There are plenty of people who make sacrifices. The other is, you're going to force people to leave private school, which is going to make the education system even more di disastrous than it is at the moment. I don't understand these people. It's almost as somebody said earlier, uh, Peter, aspiration, success, a desire to move on up, no good. No, no good in Stalin, Starmer's United Kingdom. You just all have to be the same. And, you know, all, all, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But can you see it changing? It's going to be four years. They, well, <laughs> this is why I'm saying... I mean, I went on the Countryside March back in 2002, um, not to support fox hunting per se, um, but to support farmers, because the way the Labour Party or the Labour government in 2001 handled the foot and mouth crisis was um, <laughs> abject failure yeah. um, and brought ruination to so many farmers who just didn't deserve it. Are you a farmer yourself or just live rurally? Um, I live rurally, um, my family have been farming in South Devon for over 400 years. And I have lots of cousins who are still farming. And I feel so incredibly sorry for them. Um, with the, the, the hassle they're going to have to go through with this absolute horror. And I didn't realise um, until yesterday, I said this earlier to somebody, I didn't realise that the average income, if you like, against a value of a farm is between 1% and 2%. So when the Labour Party go, oh, he's got a million pound farm, they're probably making less than £20,000 a year from it. This is, this is the imbecility of an urban dweller. Yeah. Uh, they haven't a clue. No. Um, so good to have you on. How did you find talk then? A bit different from Radio <laughs> 4, isn't it? I was, I was watching... Um, I, I loathe the BBC. They good are just man. the spokesperson for the shower of her that's in, in power at the moment. <laughs> um, and when they record the Lord Mayor show, they cut out the bits with military bands. As soon as the military band hoves into view around the corner, their on-the-street um, presenter goes to, you know, some shower of charity, Herbert. Um, you so sound on, just like my... On, I know you're only nine years older than me. You sound just like my dad. It is such a pleasure to have you on. And do me a favour. Tell your family and tell your community that this station, which is the home of common sense and free speech, will absolutely stand shoulder to shoulder with the farming community. That's a promise. And I really, really appreciate you making your first ever call to a radio show. Peter in Cornwall, thank you so much indeed.